feeling good versus feeling God. So, um, in the kind of spiritually world, from yoga to dance to from meditation to various other things, um, there is a cult of getting high, of um, doing things which make you feel good and you glow, and that's nice. There's nothing wrong with feeling good. I'm in many ways a hedonist myself. I get it. However, confusing that by saying I feel good, I have this endorphin rush or oxytocin rush or you know, hugged a lot of people or that eye gazing or um, what else, uh, done some really strong yoga and got the kind of uh, endorphins flowing through <laughs> ripping my hamstrings apart um, and then going, yeah, yeah, I feel really good. And now saying, now that's spiritual. Well, depends what you mean by spiritual, obviously. Um, but generally, you've just given yourself a high. It's like a drug. And as I said, it's nothing wrong with feeling good. It's nice to have that post-hot yoga afterglow or whatever. I've done I've done periods of hot yoga in my life, for example. Um, however, to confuse that with now I am enlightened, which is literally the mistake I hear people making, that people think they're in some ways now spiritually superior because they've had this little buzz. Well, you can get that from having double espresso. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you, yes, cuddle, cuddle a dog, you'll feel kind of a nice endorphin rush. It doesn't make it really spiritual, right? So yes, one, one to watch out for there. I feel completely ridiculous making a video on this subject because it is completely fucking ridiculous that people are making this, making this confusion. So one to watch out for. Just because something makes you feel good, gives you a high, doesn't mean that's more or less spiritual than um, other activities you may or might be doing. There's completely zero correlation.